Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tutorials, and today we're going to cover a little bit more of that data that we had in the last video, and this time using an input. Instead of binding to that like we did in the first video, we're actually going to use that input as a search field, and it's going to be able to directly filter and limit the amount of data we're outputting in real time. So this is just a basic example of filtering. In fact, filtering in Angular is really robust. You can write your own filters, you can reuse them, uh, you can include them in all sorts of ways. So this is just scratching the surface of filtering. However, it's a good start just to show you how quickly and powerful Angular can let you have interactive search and filtering functionality. So let's check it out right now. Okay, so in the last video we had a list. It just had Scott and Courtney in it. I'm actually going to add a couple more names. I have uh, Ross and let's say Ross's. 31, let's say, uh, let's add another one. And let's say we have Ben and let's say uh, Ben is 32, okay. So we have these names here. I'm gonna refresh and you'll see our list is going to be updated now uh, with the four names. So now let's add some live searching to this. Now this is going to be so easy. And uh, if you've worked with JavaScript and HTML and have not been using Angular, you might be amazed at just how quickly and how easily this happens. And even cooler is that once we get into animations and stuff like that, it's gonna be easy to even animate how all of these things are happening. And it's gonna give your applications just uh, way next level sort of interaction, sort of modern interaction. And that's one of the best things about Angular as a platform is that it really enables uh, anybody who can write HTML and learn some basic JavaScript. It, it enables you to learn more JavaScript in a way that makes everything exciting exciting and allows you to create these really, really uh, fantastic interactions. Okay, so with that said, we're just gonna make an input here and an input with a type text. Now, a couple of videos ago, we showed you ng model where we could define this as a variable. So we can say ng model and we'll just have this be search. Okay, now ng model is going to be searching over uh, this list. So now when we type into this input box, that data is going to go into this variable search. And now what we want to do is we want to on this ng repeat after the list here, but before the closing quotes, and we're going to put a pipe here, which is just this vertical line. That's the key that's shift and above your return key. And now we're able to add a filter simply by saying filter, then colon. And now we can use this model. So the model was search. So we can just type search. So this filter is going to be filtering based on the value of this. So without us having to do any more than that, we can come here, uh, let's refresh our page, and we have this input box. You'll notice the moment I type R, the only names that are left are Courtney and Ross. If I type R O, you can see the only one that remains is Ross. Because while Courtney does have an O, it doesn't have an R O. Okay, just like Scott S C. Okay. And what about age? What if we want to see everyone who's 29? We can say two. Nine. Cool. So while this might not be the most robust uh, searching capabilities, for instance, we can't say something like plus, you know, 21 or plus 32. It's not going to know what that means like uh, Google would or anything like that. It, it, this is just an absolute basic filter. It's not really like a search function, right? So all we're simply doing is comparing the data that exists and saying, hey, does a three exist anywhere in this data? Or now, hey, does a three, two exist anywhere in this data? But as you can see, it's, uh, it's instantaneous. We don't have to do anything uh, and it updates right before your eyes. So again, this is just some basic groundwork examples that are gonna uh, get you excited about using Angular and show you some basic directives. In the next video, we're gonna talk about controllers. And now controllers, if you haven't used any sort of MVC or any sort of uh, JavaScript framework, it may seem like kind of daunting because it's a word you may not have heard before, or maybe you just don't understand controllers. Uh, however, we're gonna start really super basic. We're gonna show you best practices, and by the end of it, you're gonna be an absolute pro. So keep watching. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts or Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.